2017 Porsche 911 GTS. Porsche has perfected the art of scheduling the launch of new variants of its 911 range to keep something fresh and new in the lineup throughout a model generation. Case in point, this 2017 911 GTS model of the platform launched in its initial 991 form at the 2011 Frankfurt Auto Show and then updated to 991.2 specs in 2015. One and a half years later, the newest GTS appears, eagerly awaited because it has been one of our favorite models in its previous iterations. It marks the most powerful 911 outside of the monstrously powerful turbo models and the thinly disguised racer that is the GT3. Moreover, the GTS has traditionally represented fairly good value, inasmuch as something that crests six figures can, anyway. While the entry-level, 374 horsepower Carrera comes in at $90,450 and the 420 horsepower Carrera S commands $104,450, the GTS packs 450 horsepower and is priced at $120,000. $1,050. Hardly cheap, but the next rung up the ladder is a big leap away, the 540 horsepower turbo, at $160,250. The power of the three Carreras is extracted from the same basic twin turbocharged flat six that is made into a seven-speed manual transmission or the seven-speed dual clutch automatic called Porsche Doppel Talonska V or more simply PDK, by the marketing department. More punch, right now. The additional 30 well-fed horses are easily felt from behind the wheel of this emotion-inspiring 911, and heard, too, since the GTS comes standard with the goodie that needs to be ordered separately on the lesser Carreras, the centrally mounted sport exhaust system, capable of emitting and amplifying an impressive range of engine noises. Porsche says the sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour takes 3.9 seconds with the manual gearbox and just 3.5 seconds with the PDK. Subtract another 0.1 second with the extra cost all-wheel drive system, which adds 155 pounds but helps put the torque to the ground with the minimum of wheel spin and corrective action by the traction control system. Given that we've seen the vast career up with TDK run to 60 miles per hour in 3.4 seconds, it's safe to say Porsche's estimates are conservative. The rear wheel drive GTS with a manual transmission is the fastest Carrera, according to Porsche, topping out at a sweet 194 miles per hour. The twin turbo flat 6 is so quick to respond that it's virtually impossible to tell that you're not flogging a naturally aspirated engine. It's a high revving 6 cylinder, with maximum power at 6,500 revolutions per minute, and turbocharging brings maximum torque to a lofty 405 pounds to foot. We still love the linearity and turbo free feelings of the old 3.8 liter flat 6, but it is essentially impossible to find fault with the new power plant. What's more, it is rather efficient for something this quick. Fitted with the manual transmission, it gets EPA ratings of 18 miles per gallon in the city and 26 miles per gallon on the highway, and the PDK raises the city figure to an even more commendable 20 miles per gallon. Shift for yourself, or don't. It's tough to choose between transmissions, both of which are supplied by ZF. The PDK commands a $3,720 premium and brings a weight penalty of 44 pounds, two clear downsides to what Porsche believes is the future of gear selection. On the upside, it can shift gears in an instant, and in Sport Plus mode, the speed and ferocity with which it swaps cogs provides a proverbial kick in the posterior. Aided by the effective launch control system, it's no wonder the PDK-equipped car accelerates the manual version by a wide margin.
the seven speed stick may not be the ultimate example of a Porsche manual gearbox, but the company has taken some measures to improve on it. Its former unfortunate tendency to guide the driver into fourth gear when downshifting from seventh has been alleviated, and the box feels altogether crisper than before. If it were our names of the GPS or the sheet, we'd go for the manual, even as we'd wish that Porsche would fit the sweeper shifting six-speed manual it once offered and recently brought out of mock faults for the limited edition 911R, an exotic model that immediately sold out. While the key 911 attribute that appeals to the faithful is the distinctive manner in which the car puts its power to the asphalt, with unmatched immediacy and laser-like precision. It may sound like a cliché, but there may be no other car that feels this close to being an extension of the driver's own body. If there is another, it's the Mazda MX-5 Miata. We are happy to report that the sensation has not diminished, despite the switch to turbocharging. Porsche's brake based toward vectoring system is standard on the GTS, and it feels more natural and less aggressive than those that some competitors use, such as the Audi R8. It also has a locking rear differential, mechanical with a standard gearbox, electronically controlled with the PDK, and a lower ride height and a wider track than the Cutter S plus a high-performance braking system lifted straight from the 911 Turbo. Even the rear-wheel drive versions have the wide body of the Carrera 4. The Sport Chrono package and its launch control function is standard, and, for the ultimate in lateral dynamics and stability, buyers can spec dynamic anti roll bars and rear-wheel steering. The GTS encourages you to control a better with your right foot, but it won't lash out if you do so in a clumsy manner. For a high-performance sports car, it's remarkably attitude free. It's a great daily driver, with good visibility, a relatively upright seating position, supportive buckets good for long-distance travel, and an easy-to-use cockpit with its controls arranged logically. The sea of buttons on the dash and center console are starting to look a bit dated, and the next generation will surely follow the example of the latest Panamera, with large touch-sensitive screens and a more modern layout. Many choices, none bad. The rear drive Carrera GTS comes as either a coupe or a convertible. The all-wheel drive version is also available as a target with the retro-themed central roll bar and an almost unbelievable weight penalty, 143 pounds more than the all-wheel drive coupe and 44 pounds heavier than the cabriolet. It's the only target with the standard black roll bar, GTS buyers can switch back to the brushed metal look if they prefer, while the black finish will be offered on other targets, and, as with the other Carrera 4 models, its taillights span the entire width of the car. As for which is the best GTS, that comes down to a matter of taste. After extensive time behind the wheel of every variant, we can assure you that each one delivers a driving experience among the greatest available anywhere, anywhere.